I think there's a very small chance Alexander Usyk can beat Tyson Fury. And though small, there's a chance nonetheless. Recently, Tyson Fury came out of retirement to put on a masterclass on Derek Chisora in their third fight and beat him down damn near from start to finish. But the most important part of the night wasn't the fight itself, but it was the call out. And in typical Tyson Fury fashion, he would bring up Usyk to the ring and say things like this. 15 stone little midget beat a bodybuilder and I'll do you as well, Gappy T. So besides the obvious hilarity, this really made boxing fans excited of a possibility for these two superstar heavyweights to fight in the near future. There's been early reports that these heavyweights will fight in the near future, possibly early next year, and an announcement is expected to happen in the coming days. And coming into this fight, Tyson Fury should be a huge favorite over the much smaller Alexander Usyk, but in this video, I'll hopefully show that this fight might be closer than you think and that Alexander Usyk has a pretty good chance to pull off the upset. But before I begin and get any further, I just want to say I'm not an idiot. If I were a betting man, I would bet the house on Tyson Fury, and he definitely has all of the advantages above Usyk. Height, reach, size, and heavyweight experience. But like the Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis video I made a couple days ago, Let's just have some fun and see how Usyk can possibly pull off the upset. So let's start off with Alexander Usyk's strongest advantage, which is his style. Tyson Fury for the last two years has solely been facing bigger, slower, less skilled power punches in Derek Chisora, Dillian White, and Deontay Wilder. Guys who are very big, very slow, and who throw very little in terms of volume. Tyson has seen this type of style before and he matches up well against these type of guys. But in the case of Alexander Usyk, he's a much different look. Usyk is smaller, fast moving, and is a southpaw. He is by far the most skilled boxer that Tyson Fury has ever faced, and I don't think he's ever come close to the type of speed Usyk brings to the table. Tyson Fury himself in an interview said that he can get outboxed by smaller, sharper boxers, and this is the style that he has the most trouble with. Fury admitted that Steve Cunningham gave him his toughest fight, and he was able to outbox Fury in the early rounds. Cunningham was also able to land a huge overhand right in the early rounds and drop Fury. And the really weird thing is, Steve Cunningham is very similar to Alexander Usyk. They're both around 6'3", they're both very sharp boxers, and they were both former cruiserweight champions who were very early in their heavyweight career. When Cunningham fought Tyson Fury, this was only his third fight at heavyweight. Now I should say and admit that Steve Cunningham was knocked out brutally by Tyson Fury as soon as Fury started to adjust to Cunningham's movement and sharp boxing. But for a little while, it looked like Steve Cunningham was outboxing Tyson Fury. But in addition to Alexander Usyk being a smaller, sharper, faster boxer with great movement, I think him being a southpaw presents a very unique challenge to Tyson Fury. The last time Tyson Fury faced a southpaw, it was Otto Wallin, and in that fight, he gave him a very hard time and definitely one of his tougher fights. Granted, the only reason why this fight was really close was because of a freak cut above Tyson Fury's right eye, but it was caused by Wallin doubling up on his left hand, which is a really different look for Tyson Fury. Now again, Tyson Fury was able to adjust and dominate Wallin, especially towards the latter round. Being a southpaw in addition to all of the other stylistic advantages that Alexander Usyk has just presents more complexity in a very unique problem that Tyson Fury has to solve. So stylistically, Alexander Usyk has some advantages, but how would he take these advantages and actually apply them to tactics to try to win in a fight against Fury? Now, in a video with the legendary Teddy Atlas, he explained how he would beat Tyson Fury and he would be taking advantage or exploiting Tyson Fury's tendency to clinch right after the one two and I think in this instance this is where Usyk's smaller size actually plays kind of an advantage because Fury is so used to grabbing on somebody so large when it comes to Usyk not only is he smaller but he's so fast and he can utilize his fast hand speed to throw a couple combinations as Tyson Fury goes into clinch and in that Steve Cunningham fight as well Tyson Fury showed that he has sometimes trouble dealing with the speed and especially the volume punching out of a smaller faster guy now besides relying on Tyson Fury's tendency to grab on in the clinch Alexander Usyk can make his way on the inside of Tyson Fury by intercepting his jab 
Going into this fight, I would imagine Tyson Fury's main weapon would probably be his jab, as he would be utilizing his much superior reach, and he would also be utilizing one of his best tools in his skill set in general. But one of the trademarks for Oleksandr Usyk's and kind of the Ukrainian Matrix style is beating the jab with speed and footwork and intercepting that jab with their own jab or one-two. A great example of this is when Oleksandr Usyk recently fought Anthony Joshua when he would kind of wait for Anthony Joshua to throw out his long, albeit slower jab and kind of intercept that with his own up jab. Usyk's stablemate Lomachenko does the same thing and he does it so beautifully. I think what makes this tactic work is slipping on the inside of the jab and being in position to land something down the middle. Now this might be a stretch, no pun intended, but I do think that Tyson Fury's superior super long reach might actually kind of be a detriment when facing Oleksandr Usyk because the time it takes for Tyson Fury to fully extend his jab and bring it right back might give Usyk ample time to go in. Now on an unrelated, kind of related note, I do the same thing a lot. I slip the inside of the jab and try to land down the middle because I'm often shorter than my opponents. So here's a clip of me doing so. I didn't land down the middle, but I did something pretty clean. At least I think. Nice. And finally, I wanted to go over one more tactic. It's not really specific to Usyk's strengths, but I just find it weird that nobody really goes to the body when they fight Tyson Fury. I feel like it's kind of an untapped opportunity that people who faced Tyson Fury kind of overlook because they've seen other people find success with landing on the head of Tyson Fury. Deontay Wilder has done it several times during their trilogy and like previously mentioned, Cunningham did it with an overhand right in the early rounds when he fought him. But relatively speaking, I think these are very rare instances. I think a majority of the time Tyson Fury does have very good head movement for not only just a heavyweight, but for any boxer in general. So I also don't think Usyk has that type of power to knock him out towards the head. But I think there is a much bigger target that most people don't hit. I think this type of game plan reminds me of the adjustment that Stipe Miocic did when he fought Daniel Cormier for the second time. For my non-UFC fans, Stipe Miocic, one of the best, if not the best, heavyweights in the world, was losing a fight against Daniel Cormier in their rematch up until the point he realized he was facing an actual refrigerator in Daniel Cormier and just kept spamming left hooks to the body. Now, I'm not saying Oleksandr is gonna do the exact same thing to Tyson Fury, but what I'm saying is when he is in the inside, he could take advantage of going towards such a giant target. This could possibly slow Tyson Fury down and add up towards the later rounds. So I think this concludes Oleksandr Usyk's advantages when it comes to a style matchup against Fury and all of his possible game plan tactics. I just want to reiterate, I think Tyson Fury should win this and pretty convincingly, I think he's going to stay on the outside and utilize a lot of his physical attributes to wear down Usyk. But I think Oleksandr Usyk has a very good chance and a better chance than people give him credit for. Stylistically, Oleksandr Usyk presents a very tough challenge for Tyson Fury as he is a smaller, smoother mover with very quick hands and is very comfortable with getting into the inside. So I think this fight is going to be much more interesting than people think. So what do you guys think about this fight? Do you think Tyson Fury is just going to steamroll Oleksandr Usyk or does Oleksandr Usyk have a chance? Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comments section below. I hope to upload a little more frequent this month because I'm off of school and I hope to see you soon. Peace.